Now, the federal government's decision to end the ABC's funding freeze is going to come in handy for the national broadcaster, of course. Auntie shelled out $2.5 million on external legal fees last year, despite having 36 lawyers of its own on staff. More than $200,000 was spent defending and making a payment on behalf of journalist Louise Milligan after she used her private Twitter account to defame Liberal MP Andrew Lemming. No, not the ABC has been able to explain why taxpayers' money was used to defend this staff member for making a defamatory comment, comment on her private social media account and pay the damages she incurred. The Liberal National Party Senator for Queensland, James McCraw, is pushing for answers. He's successfully put a motion forward in the Senate last night calling on the ABC to hand over all documents relating to this case. He joins me now from Canberra. Thanks for joining us, James. Are you going to get any info from the ABC? Have they responded at all yet? Well, the ABC have until midday on Monday to provide a, a ream of documents in relation to how they, they operate in, in, the, in this legal space. I sadly expect the ABC will use all sorts of trickery and, and chicanery to, to not provide the documents, and I think that's disappointing and wrong. They are a bil over a billion dollar a year taxpayer-funded organisation. They're wasting taxpayers' money hand over fist, uh, propping up... Uh, dodgy legal uh, positions, and I want to make sure on behalf of the taxpayers that we see the basis for why they're spending this money. Because I agree with you, no one from the ABC has been able to adequately explain why they supported uh, a journalist's um, uh, legal bills in relation to her private Twitter account. That's just 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 not on. It is extraordinary. Uh, imagine if that uh, if, if that uh, indulgence was extended to all ABC journalists or all people in general. The ABC, uh, rightly as a media organisation, always call for uh, transparency and accountability and openness in terms of government and government bodies. Except themselves, they like to hide everything. Tell me about when you see this sort of delinquency. How do you justify your own government? increasing their funding for the next three years? Uh, you're pushing a, 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 at an open door here with me because you know I'm, I'm not a fan of, of, wasting, gov of, of wasting taxpayers' money. Uh, I was not, not happy when I, when I saw the announcement because I think there needs to be a review, a strategic review into public broadcasting in Australia uh, because we've got a, a century old model. And we need to make sure that taxpayers are getting value for their money. I've previously called for Triple J to be sold off. I think we need to, to sell off their inner city headquarters and move them out to, to the regions and the suburbs. We've got to have a proper review of the charter. We've got to allow advertising. We've got to open up the recruitment process because at the moment they're basically going to a, a Greens branch meeting and, and deciding who your next replacement's going to be at the ABC. So I think... Uh, we do need to still have this strategic review into public broadcasting and what is the future for it in Australia. James McGrath, thanks for joining us. Anytime, thank you. Scott Morrison, if you happen to win the election, there's your next communications minister. <laughs> let, me, let me make the plea right now.